how I made my new and improved mobile workbench slash router table. Let's get into it. I started with the legs and stretchers. Cutting the legs and long stretchers, the legs at 35 and a quarter inches, and two pairs of four foot, four inch stretchers. Then I attached the stretchers that would support the tabletop, using the ground surface to keep things even. After that, I measured, marked, and cut two pairs of 25-inch short stretchers. I attached two of those perpendicular to the first set. Then flip the table. And inset the router to make sure everything fit. Then I went about attaching the bottom stretchers three and a half inches above the ground. With the framework done, I moved to the tabletop using my circular saw and Craig track system. Top cut, I cut out the bottom shelf pieces, bracing them in the center with a cross beam. The bottom shelf would also hold the set of drawers. I cut the two side panels of the drawers to fit below the tabletop stretchers. Then, marked the levels and anchored the rails for the drawer hardware with enough space for one 11 inch drawer, one 8 and half inch drawer, and one 4 inch drawer. With those ready, I cut out the pieces and used the finishing gun to make the drawer boxes. Then anchored the mirroring drawer rails to the bottom. With those ready, I slid the side panels into place and anchored them with some simple cross beams in three of the corners not open to the drawer faces. Then test fit the drawers. To make sure the tabletop sat flush with the router table, I cut a few shims before anchoring the top to the frame. Once the tabletop was in place, I put together a quick bracing structure under the router table. before attaching the levering casters.
With the workbench in good shape, I cut the pool holes in the drawers and gave each a coat of paint. Because why not make your workbench just something you like to look at? Then, added a coat of paint to the rest of the workbench. I sealed the workbench top with some tongue oil, but I think I'll come back through with some high gloss finish to help reduce friction when using the surface. And that's a wrap. Next time, I work on a mobile miter station that actually links up with this router table workbench and create a second workbench for the miter station that also doubles as an outfeed table for the table saw. Until then. <laughs>